This is Trek Zone's That Time When. Welcome to Trek Zone's STLV Bite Size Interviews. We were there with press credentials and paying our own way. Today, it's my absolute pleasure to chat with Robin Curtis. Now in its seventh year of podcasting, this is Trek Zone's Vegas or Bus Tour with your host, Matt Miller. Well, welcome to a Trek Zone conversation. We're continuing STLV coverage throughout August, and I'm now joined by the lovely, the delightful Robin Curtis. Oh, Robin, Matt, welcome. you flatter me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, I was doing a little bit of research while uh, while we were walking up. You're now a real estate broker. Yes, I am. But I've been in uh, the business of real estate now for, I think, almost 15 years. Wow. Yeah. There's a bit of a difference from being an actress. Well, you want to know something interesting? There's, 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 there are a lot of similarities. <laughs> you don't get a lot of respect. Oh. People don't realize quite how hard you work. <laughs> and, and, and you don't know where your next paycheck is coming from. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to besmirch. <laughs> Uh, I, I have a career quite, <laughs> quite like that, but 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 it, it is interesting that that a lot of your work in either profession is actually the seeking of, of the work. You know, do, doing a listing presentation for someone's home, and you don't necessarily get the the listing. Uh, similarly, you audition as an actress, and and you know, I was talking to some young actresses today, remembering the stats back when I was in the business. I don't know what they are now, but something like thirty auditions to get one job. Oh wow! So you had to really be skilled at, at kind of appreciating that you're going to get out there and you're going to try, but it's not necessarily going to be yours every time. And, and you have to, you know, sort of surrender to that yeah, idea. Yeah. yeah. And, and accept presenting yourself all the time. Exactly. And just being open and being exactly. an open Exactly. Well, you came to Star Trek, uh, taking over from Kirstie Alley as Lieutenant Savick. Um, what was, what inspired you to audition for that role? Well, you're sweet to ask. Um, you know, at that point, I uh, I think it was more my agents recognized that perhaps by the description and the breakdowns, which is how they sort of uh, guided their uh, submissions for their, you know, the actors in their stable, um, whatever the description was for this particular part in this next Star Trek Three project, my agents, my manager thought, you know, I think Robin might be right for this. And I remember going and meeting the uh, uh, casting department at, uh, at Paramount. And I offhandedly said during the meeting, you know, if I was gonna be a part of the Star Trek franchise, I would, I would really hope to be a, a, an alien of some kind. <laughs> and I left them with that little nugget. And, and not, I swear, a day or so later, I met Leonard Nimoy one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, wow. And it was so uh, atypical. Uh, a, a, a type of meeting uh, for me as an actress. Normally, uh, you you would walk into a room full of people, and you might not even understand who who in the room is playing what role. You know, which is the producer, which is the director, etc. And you give an audition, and you don't necessarily connect with anyone, and they thank you very much, and you leave. And it's very impersonal. But this was so lovely and and unthreatening. You know, to sit one on one with someone of his stature, and he was so kind, so. Generous, you know, my, my, my resume at that point was pretty thin. <laughs> 